Hey everyone, today we're going to show you how we're doing our tramways. Um, as you can probably notice from most tram lines, they're sunk into the, the road that they're on. Now that's all fine and well when the road is straight and it's easy to fill it. You could use cardboard or anything you really feel like. But on a curve like this one right here, that would be an absolute pain in the neck, as we found quite well on our old board, which we had quite a bit of tram lines on. None of it was really straight and the bits that the tram actually ran on, it just didn't really run on very well. So what we're going to do is we're going to just show you how we're going to do it. So we'll show you how we marked this, we'll then show you how we cut it out, and then we'll show you how we fell in here. But first we're going to show you how we mark the bit of board. So my beautiful assistant here is going to take the board right, very good. and he's going to slip it under the track. Right, basically what we done was we actually just had the track laid on top of the board like that. And we pinned the track down <clears throat> in the form that we wanted it in. We got a marker pen and we basically just marked to the side of the track just like that. As you can see we've already done all the rest of the track but this was just an extra bit that we need to do so I just thought we'd show you that. Now I'm just going to make mine because this is going to be jutting out a little bit I'm just going to angle this and just mark it just now to how I want this bit wood to be cut. So there we go and that's all waste. So just so I remember what's what here, I'll just slip that back in. That's track there and that's a bit of track there. So I'll just route these two sections out and then I'll just cut that with the, the hands. So then we'll go outside and do this because this is a very messy job as I found out last weekend when I was totally covered in MDF. Lovely. Right, here's basically what I used. Uh, it was just a basic router out of our local DIY store. Nothing major. Reason we're doing it outside, like I say, very messy, very messy indeed. So how I set my track depth was I got the router, I laid it on top of the track like that and I just basically got it level and locked it off and that's how I I set my depth. Hopefully this will work, but because we're doing this on video, it probably won't. Right, so we'll get this plugged in. Now, safety first. I'm wearing glasses, so I'm not too bad, but if anybody out there is not wearing glasses when they're doing this, best thing to do is get yourself safety glasses, because like I say, we're only doing a short bit. There's not going to be a lot of mess, but there'll be enough. So. I'm putting them in my own, then you can't understand them when I'm paying. <laughs> and I steam up my glasses. So basically, all we want to do is break these two bits off that I've marked. Which, like I say, very messy. If I can find the button. I've marked everything properly here. I'll blow that off. And forget a bit of track. I'll lay that in and there you go, clips in quite nicely. And that's it. And the other bit will sit there. I'm just going to get a saw and I'm just going to quickly cut that across there. But I'll see right. you back in. Basically, there's a bit of wood now. Hopefully, it's all done properly. So, what we'll do is we'll lift the track up and we'll lay it in. And as you can see, there we go. That's everything sitting in quite nicely. So, that's going to give us the level look once we fill it. I've been experimenting with the fillers as well 
and that's basically what we're going to do and I'll show you what I've done there to still be able to run the tram up and down next to the modelling clay. Okay, so we'll get on to the, the mixing and the filling up with the, the tram lines in about two or three minutes. Right, uh, this is what we're using. This came with the Fala Road system because we've actually went out and bought two start sets we've got two boxes of this but you could use polyfiller or plaster of paris I would say polyfiller more than plaster of paris because it dries very quickly whereas polyfiller takes a little while to dry now we've mixed the stuff up I've made it quite stodgy looking <laughs> hopefully everybody knows what stodgy is uh, it's a bit like a dough mix so what I'm going to do is plastic scraper out of cheap uh, shop, cheap DIY store and basically what we're doing is we're just going to fill the track in like this. Then you do realise if this doesn't work it's getting edited out. <laughs> of course it is. But it probably will work because we've already tried it. Hmm. Now, you just keep working up all the time. Now you're probably wondering how the tram, because the trams are basically the same as trains, they've got the same sort of wheel set as the trains, I'll show you in <coughs> a little while how we actually get the grooves put in for the wheels of the tram to run on because we can't really do it just now just with everything still being a bit wet what I've found is if we leave it a little while we'll be able to groove it out which is quite a relatively easy exercise so this is what we're going to do we're going to work around the hole of a trap Right, this is what we're going to do. This is a tool that you get with the Fala start set, but you could probably use the same sort of scrapers I had, or we saw somebody else on YouTube actually used an old credit card. And basically what you're doing is, you just go to the edge of the line, and you just run your scraper up there, while it's still not dry, but it's not wet if you know what I mean. This is actually half an hour later to when we actually put the stuff down. It's still not quite dry as you can see from there but it's a slightly thicker consistency because it's dried off a bit and that just stops it from all falling back into the, the hole again and this is all I'm going to do all the way around and once it's all dry, what I'm going to do is give it a little sand off just to take all the rough edges off. And then we're going to run a tram round and see what actually, if it runs round or okay or not. If we have any problems we'll try and work our way around it but I don't think we will. That looks like there's enough gap down there for the tram wheels to run on, or even train wheels if that's what you want to run into, a, like a goods area and it's all tarred, and you could do the same same thing with that. Okay, so we'll go just now, and I'll just.
keep doing this and um, we'll just add another bit on at the end of this video showing you me sanding it down and we'll try the tram round it. Okay, so hopefully see you in about five minutes. So, the concrete inlays in the middle of the track, they worked, they worked really well. Um, as you saw just down there, the tram managed to get round it, no troubles at all. Uh, there were some bad bits at the points, but we're, we're working on that. But as you saw, it did fully work and all that, so we really hope that that helps you with any endeavours that you're having. Um, thank you for watching the video and we hope to get more on soon.